I came from the country just next to Thailand from Myanmar. So when I first arrived here, like, I found the differences. I, I started to feel the differences and at the same time, I found the same thing we have. Most of uh, the artists in Myanmar, they are self-taught. So they study themselves and they learn from the internet. So we don't really have any universities here. So it's quite different for me to see the artists here who like study not only uh, by the university themselves, but the artists they trying to find like different mediums and like kind of the the the, the media really coming from their their imagination and their idea. So it's quite imp impressive for me. What I feel different is in Myanmar, most of the artists they you know, like uh, they trying to reflect their works, the creation uh, upon the political situation in Myanmar because we've been under military government for many years. But here I found some political themes, but mostly I found like they are directly coming from their individual situation. Of course, I met a lot of artists uh, during my research trip, even more than nearly 60 artists, like 57. For me, I don't really want to mention it's, it was a selection. I'm meeting these artists not only with their portfolio, not only with their presentation, not only by the conversation we have for about an hour maybe, but it's meeting like, you know, like we meet each other heart or so. It wasn't really a selection. For me at first I don't really get, you know, like it, it very abstract to me and she her, herself she mentioned like oh my work is very individual. But when I like start to talk with her and start to like look at her works and I found the real beauty of her work and to see the you know like how an artist su survive as an artist, also a human being. So she trying to connect this kind of situation in very beautiful way and not very aggressive. So there I find the spirit of the artist. At the same time, I found her creation. So that's, what, that's why I uh, decided to work with Aracha at first. Another night was very challenging for me. You know, for me from the different country, even though I'm from just next door, but it's quite hard for me to understand the real scene of the political situation here. It's quite challenging, dangerous to touch, and it's very, you know, like it's very hard and it's very soft at the same time. So I have to be very careful about this. And at first, I didn't really want to do a political piece because I came from a place where a lot of political things happening. But when I think about myself, even though like when I walk around in the city of the Bangkok, in the street, and maybe when I take the train, politics is everywhere, you know, you can't get away from it. So finally I decide, okay, it's politics, but at the same time it's a piece of art. His work is about like the migrant workers and how people like moving and living there life and also trying to survive not only for them but also for their family as well. Also in Myanmar there are a lot of artists they, they inspire and they create the works upon the migration but uh, mostly I found they are very aggressive you know like very hard time and very backside of the migrant workers. There is no aggressive e expression in his works and he mentioned simply that oh I just uh, create a piece uh, about the time of the people who's who taking relax after their work. To me, like art is not only an information. It's about like how people communicate and how the artists translate the situation in their own language. So that's why I I really happy to work with relaxing boy. At the first time when I uh, saw her work, it's not very new to me because her works are very feminist and of course there are a lot of women artists doing feminist piece of works in Myanmar as well. I named her Hair Girl because her work is about like her pubic hair at the first but I really love her works uh, about the leftover food. So we costume everything here. 
air and energy, the sunlight, the food and the resource of the art. Whatever they, it gives us, we consume and we don't really care about the, the ways we do it all the time. At the first, I didn't really get about the works of Anuson. So the songs are very abstract and it, it's just a voice. And it's also the experimenting uh, songs from the different material he used. But to me, like, uh, it, it was like kind of the language he trying to you know, like mention, trying to explain and trying to communicate, not only to the audience, but to the, you know, like to the community he's living. And honestly, see, I never curate a sound piece before. So working together with a new song also, to me, is kind of experimenting work. So that's why I decided to work with a new song from Chiang Mai. When I'm in Patani, I think more about Myanmar more than when I'm here in Bangkok. So because of I found the similar situation of the you know like the, the religious crisis between the people. Karakon is a, is a Buddhist living very friendly with the Islamic artists. But it's not about why I select Karakon. It's not it's not because of he is a Buddhist among the Islamic people, but it's about his understanding in the situation he is living. The figure he put in his pieces, in his uh, painting, are about the people just living and sharing and trying to you know, like, uh, construct their life. Art is about like, what we, we just doing what we really want. And we're just trying to uh, speak and trying to communicate in our own language. But since it is an art piece, like, we have responsibility. It's not about do's and don'ts, it's about just the responsibility, what we really want to mention. Like we have to be careful about our words. Because you know like our art piece are our words, our language and our translation. So it's all about the responsibility I think for the artists to uh, take care of their work and trying to one day trying to uh, contact with the audience or other people.